नमस्ते एवरीवन दिस इज श्रीकांत अंदर वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कैडिमेट वेयर वी गिव लाइफ टू द बोरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इनवैल्यूट्स एंड टू बी स्पेसिफिक वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पेंटागोनल इनवैल्यूट सो वी हैव टू वाइंड और अनवाइंड एन इनएक्सटेंसिबल थ्रेड ओवर अ पेंटागोनल क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड वी हैव टू ट्रेस द पाथ ऑफ द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ दैट स्ट्रिंग एंड दैट्स व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज द इनवैल्यूट so the problem is uh, present here we have to do unwinding for one complete uh, rotation and we have to do winding for a uh, length of string for 10.5 cm and the pentagon is of size 25 mm so this is the pentagon here and after drawing the involutes of winding and unwinding we have to draw the tangent and normal at 100 mm from the centroid of this pentagon So first let me explain to you the diagram itself if you want to skip to how to draw this in autocad i have left this in the description below you can join it from there so when you are unwinding it this is the curve we have to start with fine so we have to keep the circle at this point as center and this curve needs to be drawn so that will be drawn till the thread comes in line with this edge fine so you can see these two lines are collinear so that's where it ends so as soon as the string reaches this end this point so this this th this total thread becomes loose and the uh, the the thread starts rotating about this particular point and the path traced this one is again an arc with center at this point and radius two times of of this edges and the arc goes on continuing like this ahead so this arc is having three times the edge as radius and center point is here this arc has the center point here on the next corner and the radius is four times the edge finally this arc over here has five times the edge distance as radius and its center point is here so this is what happens in the unwinding process when it comes to winding we will have to start by taking the string length so whatever is the string length from this corner we have to take it so in this case you can see it's 10.5 cm or 105 mm when we draw in the autocad so that's the point from where we have to start so this initially rotates about this particular corner so you can see this arc has center point here and radius is 105 as soon as the uh, string comes collinear as soon as the string becomes collinear with this edge what happens is the center point will shift here so then the string starts rotating about this point so you can see this arc here has center point here and the radius continuing from this point so so on and so forth uh, till the end point of the string actually touches the cross section so till that point we should continue drawing the involute so this is what we have to do for drawing the involute and when it comes to the tangent and normal because i have already told that this is an arc a part of the circle and for a circle any point normal can be drawn very easily by just joining that point with the center fine so that is the normal and we all know the angle between normal and tangent is 90 degrees so just by rotating the normal by 90 degrees we are going to get the tangent so this is the whole uh drawing part these are all the conditions that we need to satisfy and i hope that you have understood the concept so now let us go ahead and see how we need to draw this with autocad so to draw this in autocad first we will need to have the template file hope you have downloaded the template file and kept it safe at a place from where you can uh, access it so i'll just have to double click on the template file and you can see the autocad file will load up with all the necessary settings for me so now we can just start drawing whatever i need to do so here i have kept the question itself so we have to start with a pentagon of 25 mm sides so start with p o l command enter 5 and then choose edge option by right clicking click at some place and turn on ortho and feed distance of 25 enter this will draw the polygon of 25 mm side the pentagon of 25 mm side then select the pen polygon or the pentagon that you have drawn and press x enter 
this will explode the polygon into individual segments next take circle command c enter center point keep here and click at this point if the points are not visible ensure that the o snap setting is on and all these points are selected if they are not selected go to object snap settings and select all click ok then type e x double enter this is for extend command now we have to extend this edge and then press shift from the keyboard and click on parts of the circle that you don't need so these are the parts we don't need press escape then press c enter again center point will be here and the arc has to continue from this point once again e x double enter and then we have to extend this edge then press shift on the keyboard and click on the part of circle that you don't need press escape c enter once again center point here passing through this point once again e x double enter click on this edge press shift and click on the part of circle which you don't need escape again again c enter center point here passing through this point once again e x double enter click on this edge press shift and click on the part of circle you don't need again escape c enter again for one last time this point is center passing through this point over here once again e x double enter click on this edge press shift on the keyboard and click on the part of circle that you don't need so this has completed the involute for one complete unwinding process now let us draw the involute for winding process as well so you can see here the winding length of thread is 10.5 centimeters so we have to take 105 mm as the length from here so take line command start at this end point and in the horizontal direction give a distance of 105 and press enter press escape to come out of the line command if you select the line now you can see there are two overlapping lines one length is 105 and the other length is this one which we extended from this edge so we need to start with this particular edge now again press c enter command take this point as center and passing through the end point of the secondly drawn line that's where we want to start now this circle has to be between these two lines so select those two lines press tr enter and click on the circle to remove the extra part once again take circle command now the center is here click at the end point to continue click the two lines between which you want the circle press tr enter and click on the circle part which you don't need once again take circle command click on this corner continue it from the previous line select the two lines between which you want the circle press tr enter and select the part of circle which you don't need continue doing the same now the center will shift here it should continue from the previous point select the two edges between which you want it tr enter and select the part of circle which you don't need and finally there will be a small circle over here which we have to draw and trim it so now you can see the string has completely touched the cross section so this is our involute this is our involute for winding whereas this here is the involute for unwinding so both the involutes we have drawn now he's also asking us to draw tangent and normal to the curve at 100 mm from the centroid of the cross section first of all we need to find the centroid of the pentagon where is the centroid of pentagon well for that we have to take line command choose one of the corners and then take perpendicular on the opposite edge press escape once again line command take another corner 
and again go and touch the opposite edge at the perpendicular press escape so now these two perpendiculars have an intersection point and that point itself is the centroid now from the centroid we have to take a distance of 100 mm so let's take a circle and from the intersection point which is the centroid I will take 100 radius now the circle is intersecting our involutes at two points let me place points at these two points so first point here second point here you can see I have placed the point but it is not visible if that is the case we have to change the command P type change it to something else and now you can see the lines the points are visible so at these two points we have to draw tangents as well as normals first let us start with the normal L enter this point to this point because this arc has the center point here then select the line take its midpoint and keep it here then RO enter select the line press enter click about the uh, click at the point about which you want to rotate then right click select copy and feed 90 from keyboard so this is the tangent and this is the normal if you don't want the circle you can remove it because we have already placed the points for our reference once again here on this involute we have to draw tangent and normal take L enter select this point join it with the point at which we need tangent normal select the midpoint keep it here at the point RO enter click the point and right click copy and feed 90 enter from the keyboard once again you can see the normal the tangent and the normal have been drawn once all of this is over we just need to apply some properties to these lines so let me give match properties M A enter and choose the thick line solid and apply it on the parts that are important to us so the parts that are asked in the question to them we have to apply these properties remaining all are construction lines so they may be left as it is and when you save this file this file will not be saved to the template from which we started and the template file will still be fresh available for the next problem so thank you for watching this video hit the like button if you really like our video share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more such videos in the future thank you